Hi guys, welcome back to Property Couple. My name is Leah. If this is the first video of ours that you've watched, then me and my boyfriend, Akilair, buy properties, fix them up and rent them out as nice places to live. Really excited to share with you this next project. I'm standing in it right now. And this is the first project that Ach, also known as Aquilaire or AK, has never stepped foot inside. From viewing this to buying this, it's only been me. He's actually dealt with a lot of the legals and the finance for this, but I, <laughs> he hasn't seen it. So he was like, are you sure it's good? Are you sure it's okay? He's can put his trust completely in me on this one. Right, so Leah's on her way back from Three Peaks, climbing some mountains and stuff. So I've just picked up the keys to our next project. It's a really interesting process. They're like, what property was it? And you're like, you know, you tell them and they're like, cool, here you go. Cool, see you then. Such a cold process. I don't know what I expected. Just thought I'd share that with you. I am excited to show you guys around and show you actually the footage. <laughs> but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy. We'll start the tour downstairs. This is the glorious front door, which I struggled to get open. I'm not gonna walk in that again. This is the first sitting room which is quite spacious, quite big. Just thought I'd let you know that this is not real brick. This is not exposed brick. This is fake. So I'll be looking forward to getting this back to actual brick and seeing that underneath. I mean, part of me wants to punch it now, but <laughs> that could be dangerous. Okay, so let's go into the next room. All of these houses in this area of the UK tend to sort of follow the same layout. So this is the second living room which we will probably be using as a communal space. Again, you've got that kind of fake exposed brick. Let's see what this one. Again, that's fake. Um, that's real. <laughs> yeah, this is the second living room, which will be a communal living room, dining room area. And then now coming into the kitchen. This is very old fashioned. There's a mirror in here. Hello. As you can see, whoa, let's have a look at that. Yeah, they've got a lot of this like plasterboarding kind of not so nice texture thing there. So that will all be getting ripped out and there'll be a new kitchen in here. Haven't even had a look in here. I mean, let's have a look. Oh, that's always handy. Anyway, right, let's keep going. That boiler doesn't look too old, but we'll be getting a new boiler because there'll be four people living here. Very avocado looking bathroom here with the highest shower I think I've ever seen in my life. Maybe a very tall person was living here. That is very high, isn't it? Yeah, this is obviously all gonna be ripped out and this will be a nice big bathroom. Oh, there's a spider. Hello. <laughs> yeah, this needs a lot of TLC. Look at this door. Very interesting texture, the wood chipping style. This sort of area here, I imagine was just somewhere to store things show you it from this way it's a bit better light but i think this is a little bit of a waste of space so we will probably be making this into more of the kitchen i will take you upstairs it's a shame that i'm the only one here today because i actually can't hold the camera here we go this is the carpet i remember from my childhood <laughs> this is like grandma's house and i've got to tell you it doesn't it doesn't smell so good in here so i will try and make this tour quite quick Whew. right first big room here it's a nice big space. If you're a regular here on this channel, you'll kind of recognize this layout. This is always a cupboard with the loft hatch always at the top. This will be somebody's ensuite. We'll kind of bring that out a little bit more, give them a bit more space for a nice ensuite shower. You can hear a siren outside, but don't worry. This is a safe area. Small step here. That will probably be not a step. And then let's go to this room now. This is the pink room by the looks of it. And again, this is the second biggest bedroom. So obviously they look quite big right now because they haven't got anything in them. They are quite spacious. This room doesn't have a cupboard, but we will be putting an ensuite probably in this corner like we usually do. This will be a nice big bedroom for somebody. All these windows will be getting changed because they are single glazed and they're also not HMO compliant. So you have to have special windows if you've got an HMO. So let's keep going. And this is the small room, which is probably too small to fit an ensuite. So this room will have an off suite. A little shot of the garden down there. Okay, so this room will be obviously a lot cheaper than the other rooms, which are quite big, but still, Big enough for a nice, decent sized bed here. Bigger than a single and a wardrobe and a desk. So yeah, a very good space. I think we'll knock out all of these and put our own wardrobes in because these are just not very modern. Yeah, I can see some cracks there actually. 
we'll have to have a look at this. It'd be interesting to see, you know, when they start bashing it all down, what we're dealing with underneath. Once again, just wanted to show you these windows. These are really old. They are single glazed. All of the cold comes in. They're practically useless when it comes to, you know, just keeping you warm in the winter. As you can see, they're a bit moldy as well. There's damp. So yeah, these will all be getting changed. And windows tend to be one of the bigger costs with our refurbs. I just had a flashback to when I viewed this property and I actually viewed it with my dad because the idea was that, well, he's actually looking for something in this area for his own investment stuff. And I came to look at it with him and I was walking around and I was thinking, I actually think this is better suited to me and my strategy and what me and Atch are doing. So in the end, I, <laughs> I actually outbid my dad <laughs> on this which is hilarious he, he had no hard feelings or anything we actually i actually helped him find something else which was better for him and more suited and in a different area but um i just think it's quite funny that when we were looking at it it was me against my dad in terms of buyers so yeah watch out dad <laughs> i'm a property investor now while i'm here i'm just looking at the roof just to see if there's any tiles. Some of these not looking so good. You wanna make sure that they're all not cracked and stuff and there's no look falling off. There's one over there that doesn't look so good. And actually the guttering here, I don't know if they call it guttering everywhere in the, in the else in the world. The guttering doesn't look too bad. Whereas at the last property, the guttering was so bad that it's just rotten. And oh God, I've just seen something. That bit there, that doesn't look so good. So yeah, I will call my roofer guy who I know because that's not usually included in my refurb quote with the, the company that we work with. I am actually gonna show you the garden just because I don't think I did in the, oh yeah, last time I did show you the garden, the slabs in the last garden were so uneven, but having a look at these, I don't think we'll need to do much work on these, maybe just a little bit of jet wash which I can do, I can get somebody to do. Also, there's quite a lot of admin with every house. I have to set up all the bills in my name, mine and Natchez property couple name. With the rent that we charge people and the deal that we offer, it's all bills included. Wi-Fi, electricity, water, everything is included in their rent. It just works in this area, like people like all bills included properties, people that do short lets, they don't want to register their names and everything with all these electricity companies, etc. utilities companies rather. So it's just about offering people convenience. They can move in, they, they even get weekly cleaner. Oh look, hello, there I am. Um, they even get weekly cleaner and things like that. So that's what it's priced accordingly. Yeah, anyway, let me show you the garden. I'm out of breath. And also people always comment on keys. These are old man, like these just look so old. Tells you how old this house is. This is the garden. I'm actually going to take some pictures of this as well. The slabs aren't amazing, but okay. Needs a lot of de-weeding here. As you can see, we have a swimming pool here and a frog guarding the pool. This is a VIP access invite only pool party vibes. Whoa, what have we got here? This is, seems like a, oh, maybe this was like an old coal house where they kept the coal for the fire. Let's have a look. There's electricity there, Jesus. Okay, now it's just storage. Be intrigued to see if that works. Got a shovel that's been left here, lovely. And then at the back, we've got some storage sheds over there. For anyone who's been watching this channel for a while, you'll know I, I don't like going in there. It scares me. <laughs> I just don't like it. I believe they have been emptied. You've got all this stuff that could do with clearing. Need some serious garden clearance in this one. Be nice to get some tables and chairs out here so people can sit down and have a bit of an outdoor area. Nowhere near as bad as the last garden. Well, um, not, not ideal. That is pretty much it. I look forward to showing you guys the progress on this one. I quite like, <laughs> weirdly I quite like this wallpaper. This is a vibe. Is this not a vibe? Are these curtains a vibe? No. I'm really enjoying sharing our journey on here. I know lots of you have asked for way more detail about the kind of the process, the refit, the build, the costs. Some people have asked about investors and how we use their money to buy properties and give them good returns so that their money's not just sitting in the bank. There's been loads and loads of questions and we do wanna answer those. Perhaps in the next video, we'll sit down and chat to you a little bit more in detail about things. I know some people aren't interested at all in that. They just wanna see before and afters. I think we, we will answer lots more questions if, if you guys are interested.